sorry? Do we have plans for DVD? DVD. A DVD. DVD. Uh, we should have a new album out in the middle of September. Um, it's called Wicked Wonderland. And uh, it's on our own independent label in the U.S. In Sweden, I don't know, um, but in the U.S. so far, the middle of September. More questions? Could you like, please tell us how you found your band members that are touring with you now and recorded with you? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, just name the people that are with you, your colleagues. The band members? Yes, the band uh, members. Yes, yeah, Dad, I'm just trying to think. Uh, and <laughs> this guy over here, Danny Stanton, actually uh, helped us put together a rehearsal and uh, auditioned a bunch of band members. And we ended up with uh, Stet Howland on drums. Um, Dan, uh, Michael T. Ross plays keyboards, um, a guy named JC stands for Jimmy Carter, we just call him JC, and just some guys from Florida, probably don't know them, but they're awesome, they're great players, uh, Stat used to play in Wasp, and, um, and then I play guitar, <laughs> that's about it. You have been away from the stages for quite some time. What have you been doing? I've been living in the Caribbean. Um, we had two boys. Got married to Jim Gillette from Nitro. I don't know if you remember Nitro. Yes, yes. He was the lead vocalist. Yeah, we've been married for 15 years and um, we have two boys. And we've just been living in the Caribbean, raising our kids. We wanted a good place to raise them out of the way of uh, you know, a bunch of lunatics, <laughs> and um, taught them fishing and snorkeling and swimming, and we homeschool our kids. So that's where we've been, on a deserted island in the Caribbean. And I got bored, so I came back. <laughs> Actually, that, that was part of my question. Uh, you got bored, you told us. Precisely, and then, Hell yeah. and uh, what ex exactly made you decide to come back after all these years of absence? Well, I had quite a few people sort of pushing me to get back and play rock and roll, and um, Dee Snyder from Twisted Sister, and uh, Robin Zander from Cheap Trick, and just a bunch of friends. Alice Cooper, everybody's saying, "Lita, what are you doing?" Then all of a sudden, my kids started. Mom, you're Lita Ford, for God's sakes. What the hell are you doing? This is my kid. I'm thinking, okay, when your kids start telling you it's time, it's time to go play, then you better get off your ass and get back out there and start, you know, playing. So, 15 years later, I didn't want to go on tour with the little babies, and, you know. So now uh, I got my kids with me. Uh, being on that island, when did your kids realize that you are Lita Ford, uh, rock and roll Lita Ford? <laughs> Well, the, part of the homeschool was A, B, A through Z. A is for ACDC. B is for Black Sabbath, you know, and so on. Uh, C is for Blue Oyster Cult. So they're uh, they're homeschooled the right way through the classic rock and roll classics. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, Lita. Daniele from Italy here. Where are you? Oh, here I am. Hi. Uh, you were in one of the first all female bands ever. Now there are several of those bands, even yeah. some here in Sweden. Do you know any of those bands? Do you like some of them? I don't. I'm really... Uh, I, there's a lot of people out there that I don't know because we've lived on this island for so long. I really don't know. But uh, I, I wish much success for the women in the future in rock and roll. And uh, I'm back to help. <laughs> uh, further questions? Hi Lida, I'm Linnea. Uh, during all this time, um, I guess you, that you still play the guitar, like, all the time, and, and how, how do you felt that your guitar playing has evolved, like, during this year? Um, I didn't play for quite a while. I hung up, hung it up for a couple years, and um, 
didn't really play that much until I started putting together this band and then I started playing more. But uh, everything has evolved, not just the guitar playing. Um, the new record has evolved. It's, it's a much mature sounding album than before rather than let's just go get fucked up and let's go party and get drunk and get laid. It just seems to be more to the album than, than just that. And um, the musicianship and the quality of the album is, is, seems to be evolved, more evolved. <laughs> uh, I have to say first that uh, I uh, love that you put all those photos in the uh, Facebook. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. For We're that. sharing our personal uh, yeah, photographs. Yeah, that's really great. <laughs> but uh, I was thinking because I was in Oklahoma. Uh, was it actually your uh, first gig in 20 years? It was. Yeah. So how did it feel like to go on stage? <laughs> well. It, it was weird because the tornadoes hit the stage before we did and uh, wiped out two. There was three stages. Were you there? Yeah. Did you go? There, for those of you who didn't go, there was three stages. Two of the uh, stages on the side got completely leveled. They were gone by the time we got to the show. We were very excited to play. Everybody, the, t the anticipation was amazing um, from the audience and, and from the band. And then by the time we got there, there was these goddamn tornadoes ripping the place apart. So we played pretty much for just a bunch of umbrellas and uh, a lot of torrential downpour. Um, people were going to the hospital and Danny called me <laughs> over here screaming on the phone, get off the road, get off the road now, you don't understand, you gotta get off the road. So I spent three hours in a coffee shop sitting there waiting for the storm to clear and uh, in the meantime, I dyed everybody's hair blue. <laughs> I had nothing else to do. And uh, the storm cleared, and we went on stage. We ended up going on stage. There was, the main stage was still left, and everything was OK. But uh, a lot of the people had gone home. I don't blame them who went home, too. But that was it. So Rocklahoma was weird. <laughs> uh, hi, Lita. Hi. I have a question. Are you friends with all the old members of The Runaways? Uh, I'm friends with Vicky, the bass player. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> that's a long story. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I just would like to know the new album, is it going to be quite rocking and quite heavy with maybe one ballad, two ballads, or is it going to be half mellow, half? Just wondering the style if it's going to be. Thank you. The new album is really heavy. It's the heaviest album I've done so far. Um, really up tempo, um, very nasty, has lots of energy, extremely sexual, nothing new, right? Hi there again, I'm Nico from Greece, uh, Fem 1055 Rock Thessaloniki. Uh, you're gonna be in, uh, in Greece in a few weeks, I know that you have a big tour. So should people be expecting stuff from your new record it's, uh, that it's going to be released on your playlist, on your, on your set list, or is it a surprise that we'll have to wait next year for a new <laughs> leader for to, to listen to it? I'm not sure. Um, you haven't arranged yet the set list for today? We haven't arranged any, any new songs yet. Um, we're actually still mixing the album. It should be finished any time now in the next couple of weeks. Um, so I think we're going to hold off and wait till just before the album is released and then put uh, a couple of the new songs in our set. So today we'll play pretty much all old, old material. We're going to play one cover song and um, I think that's it, just old Lita. <laughs> <laughs> 